Narrowbird, 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 where do you know the ladies say he's beastly? down this side so I thought to myself take it for a run in the um, in the wind I'll dry it out and then I was already sanded washed and filled and all that kind of stuff so it's just batter just getting the paint out now I've, sh I've shaken the paint as you've seen da, 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 the tango paint shaking dance and uh, yeah it's just stunning absolutely beautiful difference lot in height absolutely perfect so I want to see this by the end of the day it's not too windy it's all keyed ready and washed oh, you straight over the paint yes straight over the paint oh, you're not putting 10 coats of undercoat no I'm not putting 10 coats of undercoat I'm not spending any time on this paint because this is what happens to it lot it gets smashed it gets smashed and rubbed off Complete and utter. Don't waste your time. Let's get on with it. Oh, that sun is lovely. That sun's on it. Let's go.
gave it a good old mix up and uh, thinking that it was cold so it wouldn't need thinning out so I just put pure paint into the uh, into the roller tub thinking it'd be fine it and it almost went straight off couldn't believe it the crowbots are watching this it's not quite marigold but you get a box of these for a fiver do my own sound effects I think I need to grow up at least at some point before 70 the roller starts falling apart and even though it was brand new so annoying it's falling apart what's going on this roller damn it's all bits coming off it oh don't warm me up don't warm me up it i'll do a section i'm going to go over it with a brush Masking off a bit now. I'm only going to that edge bit there. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna lay it off, as they call it. I'm gonna lay off. Actually, this paint is going off already. It's already gone off. What? No way. That's impossible! It's already gone off! Oh my, what is going on? Oh, shit. I thought I'd just carry on and finish this section here uh, and do the best that I can. So I'm going to give it two coats anyway. So uh, I use the same roller for a minute then I'm going to find another one because I didn't think I had another one. So I had to make one out of a larger one, you know, so one of those days. Now I've thinned the paint out a bit, I've got a better roller, it's going on much easier and it's very surprising how quick it was going off. I, I thought it'd be horribly runny but it wasn't. It's really good paint actually. I get a really nice finish uh, despite all these um, hiccups at the start, you know. What I'm doing now is I've just I've got a, actually a wet brush, I'm not using a dry brush. I find I get a better result with the wet brush uh, than the dry one so there's a bit of paint on it. Otherwise the brush becomes very thick and gloopy if you just if you leave paint to dry on it you know so I keep the paint brush wet and I lay it off that way and I still get a decent finish out of it so I was, I was happy with the results put it that way I can hear the authors now Mavis he's not really doing it right Mavis I can hear him tapping away now as, as I'm painting this bless him Process, but it's very satisfying to see uh, you know the old paint and the old uh, filler being covered up by a glossy exterior so it's for me it's very satisfying because it's my boat obviously but for somebody watching it it's like watching paint dry isn't it oh you poor things you know what I mean 
it's, it's a really simple solution for me on my boat. This is only my opinion, but I'm doing. It's not a professional finish. It's just this is. It's not no runs in it. It's a very nice shiny finish, but it's it works for me. Um, if it was more technical, more involved, doing all the undercoats, I wouldn't bother doing it. It's just I just would not. It's just too much to get involved with. Crawling around the hands and knees is enough just doing two coats. If I had to do undercoats and top coats and sand each coat, oh, it'd just drive me mad. I won't, I won't even start it if it's too much to take on. So this for me is an easy solution. And I'm already getting a nice finish, as you can see there, look. When I first got this boat, it was it was green um, and the paint was all flaking. It was, wasn't very nice. And I, I thought it was all runs all over it. I thought I'd sand it. I sanded it all by hand and I uh, undercoated it. Um, by hand as well so it took me weeks I'd never painted a boat before and in hindsight I would have painted the whole boat in this dark grey and then gone over with lighter coat over the top of it but I did it in I did it in sections and, it, and that's what's ruined it for me I, if I had to start again I'd do the whole boat in this grey and then go over this colour I'd do three coats of this on the whole boat and then go over with the blue on top of this it's make, it makes it weak when you start masking it off and having lines everywhere. It's, it makes the uh, the sections where you've masked it off weak on the line. It's hard to explain that is. Uh, water gets in and then it flakes and then. So if I had to do it all again, I would I would definitely um, paint the whole boat with one colour first. After about three months, when I did finally finish the boat and it looked really smart and clean and tidy, the inside. Uh, looked a bit dull and dark and too oaky for me so I set about doing the inside uh, of the boat but that's a whole that's a whole different story about me refurbishing you know that's just the bedroom and the rest of the boat looks very similar so you know it's not professionally fit out it's not professionally painted but it's to a standard that I'm happy with you know that's what matters really isn't it visitor that's come to see me hey martin and his lovely little dog it's an unusual boat though it's specially built well, what do you think then people what do you think it's not dry yet what do you think though is that better does that look nicer and better got another coat yet it's a bit thin there look it's just drying in places. What do you think? Got to the front bit. Ooh, ropes in the water. I'll sort that out. There we are, eh? Happy with that? I might leave the tape on until, until tomorrow. I might give it another coat tomorrow. I think it spilled off the paint, didn't I? I'm an idiot. I had to put some soil on it. What a oh god top of the class for stupidity i'm sometimes really am my painting then absolutely terrible yeah thank you i thought it was it's already dried did you have a chap with a white stick and, and, yes and, uh, i fell over by my head first as well yeah it's all right a absolutely no pointless doing a good job pointless because he just gets rubbed off again. Rubbed off straight away. Oh, so I'm not even bothering painting. He could have done a better job, couldn't he, with that ball? With his tail. With his tail, with his even. Tail. Just wiped along, splashed it about. Do you paint your own boat? <laughs> Do you paint your own boat? Yes, can you tell? Well, it looks good from here. I got, my, I got my glasses on, it looks good from here. Oh, so you've got a sun back. I won't come any closer. There's a friend of mine, and he spent um, 22 days painting one side of his boat, because he did it about eight times, so he kept getting brush lines. I just got my roll, I went over the um, <laughs> spiders, cobwebs, everything. Yeah, I did, I've just done that. And it's still there, and it's three years old now. Three years old, off. specially made boat. Oh dear, it's one of those days where you just... It's snowing. It's windy, it's wet. I can't do anything outside. And it's not nice at all. Oh, you can't see anything through there, can you? It's just... Can't see the wind, but it's wind. It's blowing right towards me. It's windy. It's wet. It's one of those days where you just stay in and do all your little jobs. I'll just hoover it up and uh, done some washing and what have you. It's starting to snow now. It's that cold spell. It's what is it? March? Sorry, where am I? Am I in March? Yeah, it's March. We're in March now. Aren't we? March the eighth, ninth. 
Yeah, snow for the next few days apparently. I've oh, got this snow coming in now, haven't we? It's got some water. I'm heading to into Little Port. Little Port's co-op. Get some shopping. Rippers. Yeah. It's not too bad. I mean, it's snowing, but it's not that cold. Overnight, the river's dropped, and it's scratched all that already. <laughs> Pointless. Put some. I must put some fenders there. I'm giving it a wet and dry. I'm going to give it a second coat. Um, and that's it. And that's it, as far as I'm concerned. When it when it stopped snowing and raining, I um, got some. I think it was 600 grit sandpaper. And I wet and dried all the paint when it dried out after a couple of days, all the way down. And then I gave it another coat, and I turned the boat and did the other side, and then. Um, Using the, using the wind and and the, the flow, the flow was very, very strong because they were letting a load of water out at Denver because this section of river is monitored and the water levels are um, checked uh, to keep the stop the uh, river flooding in Cambridge and surrounding areas. So they let water out when the tide goes out, the tidal further down. So I used the flow of the river to turn the boat around and some people... Uh, confident doing this some people aren't so I've got Chris helping me here so it's a lot easier for me at the moment so after all that crawling around I finally get to peel the masking tape off it's been on there for a few days I've been cruising up and down masking tape on now it's finally time to take it off so the paintwork look at the difference a little bit of a couple of days of painting there's a couple of scars still there but Filled most of it. I filled most of it. Makes a complete difference to the boat, doesn't it? Look at the difference in the new paint and the old paint. Wow, what a difference. And I painted this in six degrees. I thinned it down and laid it off, and it's come up, no runs. Can't really, can me really pat myself on the back like no, sorry. Someone's got to do it, haven't they? In the middle of nowhere. Unless I get some sort of self patting machine. Oh, that's a good idea, isn't it? By the time I go in, it pats me on the back. Mm. And with the new blacking, that blacking's still good. But below the waterline, it's gone all a bit. A bit, you know. There's a bit of flow on. Look at the flow. A couple of knots. This is what I long for, this is it. The chiff chaffs, the skylarks, the geese.